Hey everyone, welcome to Brent's Hang. We are out of the office today, out on a little road trip to Echelon Studios out here in Los Angeles, California. And uh, we're here visiting a very special guest, Kevin Hastings. We're talking keyboards. So I'm here at Echelon Studios with Kevin Hastings of Vanity Machine, and um, we're talking shop. We're talking keyboards today. And uh, Kevin, so you've got a pretty impressive list and roster of uh, artists that you've played with. Um, it's been a pretty incredible journey so far, man. Let's do expand on that. Let's hear about it. Well, um, my relationship with Gibraltar started back on the Rihanna tour, and uh, it started by uh, me and my keyboard tech building this. Uh, hodgepodge of Gibraltar pieces to make a tilted keyboard stand. Basically, the pieces didn't even really fit together that well. We put some stuff together with duct tape. Don't tell Gibraltar, but we had some duct tape on there and just so we could have this really cool tilted keyboard stand. And then once we built a relationship, Brent built me this incredible rack that housed uh, four keyboards, actually. And so then it expanded into a legitimate Gibraltar setup. And we had one 88 key that was tilted, two keyboards off to my side and a third one that came up and I would play overhead like this. All right, well this is my Gibraltar rig that you've been hearing about. Like I said, it consists of two pieces. We got the main section over here, which houses my Corrigan 3. This, it's incredibly stable. There's no worries about this thing toppling over. It's like a, a grid. And then it connects onto this other piece over here, which is where I house my two-tier. And then it also has another piece right on the back that brings up my micro sampler. And it just has everything laid out so perfectly where I can easily be playing all four keyboards at the same time, even though I only have two hands. Don't ask me how I do it. What was it that kind of inspired you in the first place to start using Gibraltar stuff for, rat for uh, keyboard stands? Yeah, well, I think it was really just that it was, it was the only product that really we could make a keyboard stand out of that would be sturdy enough. Because like I said, it didn't, at that period of time, we were just basically putting pieces together to do what we could conceptualize in our mind. And Gibraltar, uh, my, my keyboard tech and I, um, uh, Dave Barrera is his name, he basically, we've sat down together and he, his knowledge of KMC parts and of where he's used Gibraltar for, uh, um, he used Gibraltar for Marilyn Manson's keyboard player. Okay. And so then from that inspiration, he brought it into the Rihanna world and then uh, it was just really, it was out of necessity really that we turned to Gibraltar because it was the only product that we could actually Manipulate. Exactly. We can okay. manipulate, customize, all that kind of stuff. You're the first keyboard player I've ever seen that kind of tilts their keyboard the way that you did. Like, was did you ever play it, play with it like that before? Well, I mean, I'll say this. I'm not technically the first keyboard player to do this, but it's always been my idea that I don't like the kind of, uh, I always call it the kiosk. It's like sitting behind this gigantic piece of gear, and then everybody only sees you from here on up, but they don't have any idea what your hands are doing or what, how you're actually playing your instrument. Versus guitar, it's all visual. And so for me, it was out of necessity of wanting to engage the visual aspect. And then after I learned how to play like that, it was a very different uh, feeling for me, always going up and down like this, and now I'm kind of playing in and out. After I got comfortable with that, I realized it was a, such a great way to connect uh, my performance with the audience in a very visual fashion. And then it actually became ergonomic because I'm so tall that most uh, X stands, in order for me to get my keyboard high enough, the X stand gets very narrow. Oh, and so yeah. then it gets very wobbly and hard. When I rock out, I, I play really hard. And so when I'm rocking out, an X stand is just <laughs> going all like this. So with the... Uh, Do you ever have anything completely just fall over on you on stage? You know, I, I've had it come very, very close, but I often, I often kind of, you know, hit a, a run with my elbow and pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> how uh, how long is would you say setup and teardown time is with? Oh man, it, it, honestly, and this is this is no joke. About one minute. It's just put this piece together. There's only about uh, three connections I have to make, so I I tear everything down to about four pieces, put it in my car, carry it into the venue, and then it's one, two, three, and then you're up and running. So it's really quick. I love the fact that uh, the the keyboard rack that you originally made for me and that you and Mark brought down was so awesome and showy that then eventually we had to tweak a couple parts so we could fit the, the rest of the look on stage naturally. But at the end of the day, it, it elevated the whole look of the stage and it actually complemented everything in a very a very cool way that most keyboard stands I mean, it, they all just look so blank and generic, and it makes the keyboard player look blank and generic. So for me, again, it's all about that aesthetic of how it looks. You know, as you discussed, we discussed before, you know, we built you guys. We built you a cage for your last setup. Now it's kind of gone less is more. Absolutely. And uh, streamlined. You know, you and I worked together on designing the key tree. Yeah. And um, so, how have you been using the key tree over the last uh, what was it, six, seven, eight months? Yeah, since about last summer, I think is yeah. when you brought it over. I've been using it in so many different live uh, situations. Going out, I still play a lot of like. Um, cover gigs and stuff. I really enjoy going. There's several awesome bars in Hollywood that they have all these touring musicians just constantly coming through and so I love to go out and play live still a lot and this stand is by far the simplest stand to carry with me that has the uh, the cosmetic appeal that it does. For me though I use it with Vanity Machine and we use it, uh, we just used it in our music video very recently that you can check out on VanityMachine.com it's a really cool music video where we have two of these key tree setups and then um, a live drum setup as well. And that's basically all the gear in the music video. And so we use the key tree in Vanity Machine as a, a DJ rig. So one rig has uh, kind of this black surface with a bunch of chaos pads and DJ equipment with a computer on top. And then the other rig is set up very much like this one with a keyboard and a computer on top of that one. And it's, it's, like you said, it's, it's streamlined now, less is definitely more. And it's such a great, uh, just simple, yet again, highly cosmetic. And it kind of has that like curvy sex appeal that I, I want from my gear. Well, that wraps it up for this week. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Brent's Hang. Once again, I'm Brent Barnett with Gibraltar Hardware. Let us know the cool things you've done with Gibraltar in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next week.